Hi, it's Ronick from Arsenal Audio. I'm here at the Expressive E booth with Arthur. Hey. Hi. How are you doing? Having a good NAMM show? Yeah, so far, yeah. It's our first NAMM show, so you're discovering a bit, but really happy to be there. So just to give you a little bit of background, I first heard about Expressive E maybe three weeks ago, two weeks ago. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so we found out that you're working on something rather special in terms of an Expressive controller. Yeah, exactly. It is actually a small device that you can connect to any synthesizer, thanks to its CV, MIDI and USB outputs. So it brings all the expressivity missing in synthesizers. Cool. And you've also had some really high profile producers and musicians like Adrian Utley from Portishead, uh, Neil Davidge from uh, producer of Massive Attack that we've interviewed in the past. Yeah, exactly. We have also uh, Matt Robertson from York. Ron is a French guy, really cool man. So, okay, so this is the thing here. This is yep. the, uh, the touche. Yeah, touche. Touche. Yep. I got good pronunciation? Touche. 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 Uh, cool, and so it's got a wooden face plate. Yep. Uh, t tell us more about it. Okay, so here, as you can see, you have CV, MIDI, and USB outputs. And you can control the sound thanks to its wooden plate. You have actually four uh, control points on it. You have the top sensor, the bottom, left, and right, so let me show you this. Here, it's a very simple sound showing this. I hit, I hit a note, and I, with my left hand, I will just open the filter. As you can see, it is very sensitive, but it, it is also very reactive. For example, here. So when you play it, you play it like this. So, this was a very basic setup, right? You can also have more complex things, like for example here, I have a little preset, it's a, it's a pad. I hit a note, I have a filter here, another filter here, LFO on the right, and LFO on the left. So it allows me, while I'm playing, not to think about nubs, but rather to feel the thing and play in a much more performant scale of thing. I didn't even know you could go. I didn't even know you could go left and right on this yeah. thing. So it really is like a 360 degree thing. Yeah, yeah, uh, definitely, and it's very sensible, very uh, reactive, you know. So it's nothing to uh, you can really compare it to Mother Wheel and Pitch Bend because it serves the same purpose, but it actually is much more expressive so or for example for things like um, a bit more funk so as you can see it's all about performance so, okay, this is very, very cool. So, I'm, I'm assuming it outputs uh, MIDI CC data? Or? Yeah, so you output basically USB for power and for connection with VST softwares. You also have MIDI outputs and MIDI through. So, you, you have four CC, all right? And you also have CV outputs, one CC for each of the control points. Okay, and I'm also very curious. You've got two buttons here and a, a rotary controller. Yeah, so those are for features coming later this year because we have a, a um, software coming later. We don't want to talk too much about that, it's a surprise, so you will see this later. Yeah, I know, if, uh, from watching your videos, you're big into your surprises and teasers. Yeah, yeah I know that. So uh, you're thinking that this will be available like mid this year or so? Uh, yeah, we are aiming for around this summer. Okay. Yep. And uh, I'm guessing the pricing would be you, you haven't set that yet? No, we don't reveal the price yet. But I can tell you, it's going to be under $500. Yeah. It's very interesting. I mean, this feels just so beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah you know? beautiful. Cool. Yeah, here, just hit the note. And go in very gently, you know. Well, OK. okay. Yeah.
Yeah, cool. As you can see, it's very intuitive. You can really hook up with it and start playing with it because it has this kind of direct connection between your hands, the sound, and the music. This is uh, thank you. This is really interesting. It's a. Uh, it's not. An, it's not a. It's not a type of. Uh, of, of, uh, of interface or surface that I would, I would imagine using, but it feels good. Yeah. Thank you, th thank you so, so much. Thank you very much. Thank you.